Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's bird video. We're looking at the JMA season model for today's bird video. So uh, this is going to take us through April, May and June uh, with the uh, JMA season model. See uh, what the uh, model is showing through the rest of spring and into the early part of the summer. I'll get on that for you in a second just to say that first video say was 6am upload. We've also released the ECM WF uh, Dexterity Forecast for America as well as the United States and it will be live streaming for you uh, this evening at 6pm. We will be live live streaming our uh, 10 to 14 there so I shall see you live uh, for that one. Please like, share, subscribe on Bits. Thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that. I hope you have a lovely, lovely uh, Wednesday. So just to say that this video is ahead of the first summer 2023 season one roundup that we're going to be releasing at Gaz Weathers on Saturday morning. And because we're releasing that on Saturday morning, um, it means that uh, we want to do this one before. Uh, so uh, the JMA season one will form part of that update. Uh, but uh, as we're getting like 15 uh, long range models from World Link Broadcast Centre together all in one go, we won't be able to have time to go through the JMA in detail. And you can glean quite a lot of information from this one, so that's the reason we always like to take this one out and look at it in its own terms. So that's what we're doing for this uh, video. I hope that makes sense. Right, okay, we're going to start off with the month one uh, 500 millibar high tsunami from the, from the Arctic. A North Pole view down. So uh, blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. So uh, this is the 500 millibar height on for April, where we see high pressure above average heights, generally centered to the north of the UK between Greenland and Scandinavia. But it is saying a ridge down the western side of Europe. So, question with that. It's just how much of an easterly or northeasterly influence do you have potentially that could bring in the wind from quite a chilly east northeast direction in April? But if that ridge is singeing through the country, then uh, actually we probably don't get that much of an easterly. We probably just come away with a relatively anti cyclonic and pleasant spring month, albeit because high pressure sent a bit further north. It might be a bit on the chilly side, it could be overnight frost and whatnot. But it shouldn't be a particularly uh, cold month. So the exact orientation of the high pressure is pretty cool there. Then we go through to uh, May. So this is May's 500 millibar height anomaly, a ridge in the Atlantic, extending through the UK and up to Scandinavia. I think that would suggest like an east southeasterly flow. So that should be quite pleasant in May, I would have thought. Uh, there should be quite a bit of dry and uh, relatively pleasant weather with that. And then uh, June uh, brings low pressure to our north and northwest. We get below average heights appearing around Iceland, between Iceland and Scotland. Above average heights going southwards, we strengthen westerlies, so have a return of westerlies there uh, in June. And uh, we go rather unsettled and um, you know, probably cooler through the early part of the summer there. Um, most unsettled weather, of course, will be close to low pressure up in the north. Right, so let's have a look at tropical and mid-latitude views. So we can't see the North Pole, Greenland, Arctic, Scandinavia, all those areas off the chart up here. However, we have a look at that view down. So we know what's going on. The UK and Ireland top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. Reminder of the uh, month, <coughs> excuse me, month one, 500 millibar high with, uh, high pressure centred towards um, our north and also our northeast, but also extending a reach down through uh, the country as well. So the temperature anomaly is about average to slightly above, not a particularly big deviation, and the precipitation anomaly looks like that. So dry and average for more summer areas, actually a little bit above average for more northern regions, which is a little bit of a surprise. Uh, the wind flow and direction, uh, it is always a job to make, these out looks like it's well just to our south and west it's like southerly uh and over here it's like east northeasterly um that perhaps explains the precipitation forecast because we are actually 
you know, between like uh, southerly or western influence and east or east influence, that might create uh, instability actually. So uh, that might explain why there's a bit more precipitation around than you might have expected. It's a 50 50 month, it could be quite chilly if you bring in these uh, northeasterlies and get them all the way to the UK and Iron Man, it would be quite a coldish sort of bump. If, however, we are uh, actually on the warm side of the ridge, and we bring up wind from like a southerly direction, we're not far from that, um, especially Ireland, but the UK including that too, then uh, we could come away with quite a warmish sort of month. So it's one of those that um, you know, could go either way. It's a 50-50 month. Uh, right, okay, so have a look at May. So uh, in May we get the ridge of uh, above average heights extending uh, from the Atlantic into uh, Europe uh, through the country like that. It's like bringing like an easterly type flow in uh, May. The precipitation anomaly. That's a bit above average of anomaly. A bit more unsettled than you might think from a 500 millibar height anomaly. It's dry about further southwards. Uh, again, the temperature anomaly is about average to slightly above average and the wind direction this time is is very uh, very straightforwardly easterly in origin so of course may is the most easterly month of the uh, of the year uh, on average and so let's expect you know that we'll get easterly in may and that's what you see there a classic example uh, of that could be a little bit northeasterly which might be the potential 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 a little bit but uh, overall an easterly um, May, which should be a relatively dry and warm sort of wind direction, so not too bad for May. And then in June, we replace that with westerlies as low pressure comes back to uh, the northwest Scotland. High pressure sinks southwards, and uh, we uh, re establish a zonal flow of a classic return of the westerlies type uh, month for June. And the precipitation, temperature, not, I should say, is around a little bit above average again. Precipitation is going wetter across most parts of the country as those westerlies come back. And uh, you see the difference with the uh, wind direction. So, sort of easterly in May, we're westerly in June. The black arrows again coming in from off the Atlantic, very much in a westerly fashion. So, a classic example there of a return of westerlies in June, which might deliver some quite unsettled weather. That's, you know, famous June monsoon. Um, we haven't had that for a few years, I don't think, so um, maybe this year we'll get a classic example of the old-fashioned June monsoon slash return of the West Seas. We'll see, it's like three months away, so it's a long way out, we've got a lot of weather to get through uh, before we get to that, and it doesn't determine really what will happen through July and August, the rest of summer might, you know, continue the unsettled weather, or it might pick up, you know, uh, every every year is different, even to get a return of Wesley's in June. Right, that's it then. So uh, we will be, of course, looking at the JMA with our summer uh, season model round, the first summer season model round on Saturday morning. But, uh, of course, that will try and extend through to July and August as well. With that update, I'm not sure if we can quite yet with the JMA uh, do, but I think we can at Copernicus, actually. So, um, but you know now, anyway, what it's showing for the rest of the spring and into the other part of the summer. Right, okay, we're going to be back a little bit later on at live stream, so I shall see you live at 6pm with our 10 to 14 there. Make sure you check out 6am forecast and also the uh, ECMWF Extended USA forecast as well. If you'd like to do that, we'll see you later at 6 for our 10 to 14 day live. But for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.